What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 81 of our Pokemon Reborn playthrough. In the last episode, we took on Charlotte and earned our 10th gym badge in Reborn, and then made it all the way here to this Pulse Avalug. Today we're going to be battling this monstrosity and continuing on from there. If you wind up enjoying today's episode, you know what to do. Let's get into it. Um, now, as we discovered last time... Oh yeah, we're still all level 68. Nice. Um, let's see. Uh, let's read about this Avalug. I don't know. Wait, what? Why are there... Is there a number zero? Is, is there really a number zero? We're making some pretty good progress on this list. Huh. Anyway, Avalug is an ice type, you don't say. Defense is sky high. I won't be able to poison it anyway. I can try to burn it. I don't know. We're just going to jump in and see what happens with it. So here we go. Ta da! Seems to be crying out in pain. The machine seems to be running haywire. You want to attack it to terminate the process. Okay, I, I was wondering. Yes. Don't attack me, Avalug. You're in pain. Let me help you. Pokemon Redoubt? I'm going to go straight for Eruption. Cold soften the attack. But now the water's gonna make this weak. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm actually gonna switch. Oh, he has freeze dry. That's gonna be super effective here, but I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> it did a lot of damage. Let me just see what, what happens here. I wanna see how much this does. That did a lot, actually. Interesting. Uh, I guess Pajiramon? I don't think this thing's going to be too challenging compared to what we are used to. Oh, it has Recover. That's annoying. That's super annoying. I need to get a para. That'd be nice. <clears throat> he gets a freeze before I get a para? That's wild. Okay, well. Let's go. I'm ready for another recording session. I really love playing this game. Ouch. I do that every time I go to heal. I think, uh... Oh, okay, cool. So we're just getting crits out here. I think Insurgents taught me to make sure that my cursor's in the right place. He gets another freeze! What the heck? Ugh, that's annoying. Okay. Alright, hold on, hold on. I wonder if starting with eruption like that is the best idea. There's the para. That's good. That's okay. Okay. Now. I'm gonna oh, whoa, whoa. What am I doing? How did I know it was going to be paralyzed? All right, flinch slash, slash para, or it's going to recover. All right, let's see if we can hacks this thing out. Nope. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Mercedes can probably... Let's take out just a... That... Did that even move? I couldn't even tell if that actually moved has rock slide okay wait why are we why are we losing here i don't know if i'm 
Maybe I'm treating this kind of like Ash does his battles. I'm not taking this as seriously as I could. No! Okay, hold on. How can I hit it really hard one more time? If he uses Recover, I might lose. Oh, cool. Got him. All right. Well. Ooh. Shelly, what the heck are you doing here? Huh? Oh, that's just outside. Domino, the ice wall just disappeared. Was that because of you? What happened? So, this is one of Meteor's pulse machines then. And Avalog blocked off the mountain? Um, maybe I'm just being stupid, but that does, doesn't that seem kind of strange? That is, if Team Meteor wants to block off the mountain, wouldn't they put the machine, um, literally anywhere else? There's dozens of choke points in the paths they could have easily blocked. So why put in the most open space? Was that really what they were trying to accomplish? It doesn't make sense, but maybe that's just me. I need to find Heather, so I'm going to go ahead, okay? Go ahead where? Wait. So this is the... Wait. Okay, hold on. Uh, I already saved. Okay. Uh, let me look. Who's leading? Who's leading? Von Oberis? I really don't want Von Oberis to lead because you're not very fast. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I'm intelligent. I'm thinking that that dive spot, but isn't that where I'm supposed to go? Or is up ahead? Ooh, that's Sand Slash. Holy cow. All right, hold on. Let's check this dive spot. I'm thinking something's down here that... Oh, I must have gotten rid of dive. Oh, oh yeah, I put rain dance on. That worked. Apparently, the... Uh, the field that I was reading about was the wrong one. And I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it in the moment. Oh, see, that's what happens when I don't play for a week. That's what happens when I don't play this game for a week. I don't realize that that's literally where I already went. How much longer will Mercedes be with us? That's the real question. I'm, I'm, we've been talking about it for a while. I don't know how much longer... Uh, I can't jump down. Can't do anything there. What's up with this? There's nothing on these items. I'm upset. I'm used to there being stuff on these items. There we go. There's a blue shard. <clears throat> hmm. Another, uh, more ice puzzles. I like ice puzzles. I'm, I seem to be really good at puzzle puzzles. As proven last time. Oh. I'm stupid. Oh, I see it. I'm a train mountain fourth floor. Okay. That, is that not a little excessive? Do I have rock climb? Wait, what? <laughs> it looks like what I just did, there's nowhere to go. Okay, then it has to be this way. Yep. Uh, what? Has to be down. I mean, you just have to use deductive reasoning. 
Can't go anywhere else right now. What is this? Amatrine City? Whoa! Why do I have a feeling this is like the perfect place for a Sneasel? Look at how, look at how pretty this is. Like, honestly, this seems like the perfect place for a Sneasel to be. It also seems like the perfect place for a Piloswine, admittedly. Admittedly, it's also the perfect, it looks like the perfect place for a Piloswine. Do I have Rock Slide? I don't. What that goes down to. Huh. I don't know why that took so long. <laughs> Who's sitting on that for a minute? All right, there's probably an, an item this way, or is this where I'm supposed to go? This totally looks like where I'm supposed to go. Oh, just an item. Or I'm gonna have to come back to this. Another blue shard. Let's see if I can remember that this is here, because this this route is very. First off, it's very laggy, but it's very uh, open. It seems like this would. I mean, why would they put that there? It's just a waste of area. Are we in hail too? Uh, can I run into a Sneasel? Just because. I don't, I don't think I've seen a Sneasel at all in this game. How do I page? Shift. Aim. Height. Dark. Nice. Search. Wow, I have not run into a single Sneasel in this game. Ooh, what's this? Welcome to Amatrain City. Ooh, we made it somewhere. I found a purple shard. Alright, Shelly is here. Oh, hi Shelly. Burr! I don't know how anyone can stand this cold, but if Heather's in here somewhere, I'll definitely find her. Let's split up and ask around. I bet someone is bound to know something. After we talk to everyone, let's meet up somewhere. Hmm, maybe there's a suspicious place around here. I'm gonna go look for something like that once I'm done. Good luck. You hear me stutter there? That was weird. A s s s s s suspicious. Whoa, my speed up button is on. I had no idea my speed up button was on. Do I remember something about somebody checking checking sinks in every city or something? What the heck? Why would that just randomly be there? I guess I guess it makes sense in that Whoa. I don't really want to read all this right now. It's a glitch field. Physical special split is undone. Attacks base their physical status on the pre-fourth gen type determination. Special attacks calculate on the higher stat between special attack and special defense. Dark Steel Fairy becomes normal. Type chart is altered. Dragon always deals neutral damage. Bug hits poison types super effectively. Ice hits fire types neutrally. Ghosts can now not hit psychic types. Poison hits bug types super effectively. Critical chance is up when if attack if attacker is oh so it just goes back to a it just goes back to Gen One mechanics. When conversion and convert, so I'm probably going to have normal stuff coming up soon. So with that being the case, let me go ahead and preemptively do this. Where you at? There you are. Interesting. So it just goes back to a Gen 1 
field, a Gen 1 battle system, a Gen 1, Gen 1 mechanics. I don't know what word I'm No, I don't want to watch Gossip Gardevoir. I've had my chance with you. And I've realized that the voice that I thought was so good for you actually was just me talking. <laughs> A visitor? Does that mean the mountain path has been unblocked? That's exactly what it means. Should ask who did it. Go and ask go and ask who did it. Alright, so what's the purpose of this place? Bound to be something somewhere. No, I did it again! Florinia! Holy crap, Florinia! Shut up! If there's something important in the TV, please let me know down below so I can take some time. Howdy, stranger! Don't look like you're dressed for this climate. Con uh, conserve heat and stay indoors. And remember, try not to move around too much if you haven't gotten your rations. You see, most of our food stock disappeared recently. We know that Amatrine Mountain has been blocked off, but that's okay because we always used to store plenty to live on in emergencies. Just when that happened, our emergency su supply completely disappeared. We're not really sure how. Ever since then, the city has been living on the rations of the public food store. This will be very difficult, but we will get through this. Alright. There's way more city down here. I like this. I said this a few episodes ago. I like when it's just time to explore. Where's locked? Where's locked? Oh, I thought she was walking up to me. I was like, what I, What did I, what did I do? I did not do anything. Whoa. Oh. Oh. There's got to be a purpose for this. Some select Pokemon species. Pokemon.species equals Rotom. So when I have Rotom, I need to come back here. Amatrine City. When I have Rotom, come to Amatrine City. Me yelling at myself to remember. Locked. Not locked. Excuse me. I'm very sorry. I dropped my necklace around here and I'm trying to find it. I don't want it to get buried underfoot. So I can't let anyone through right now. Really sorry. I'll get out of your way as soon as I can. You know, I was going to complain initially. I really was. I was going to complain initially, because that's stupid. The thought of, I lost my necklace, I can't let you pass, is stupid. Uh, but, that makes sense. She wouldn't want, whoa, she wouldn't want it to get lost under. That's an awesome meow stick you have, but you know what's even awesomer? Pidove. Yeah, Pidove, it's final stage is so cool. I totally want one, but there's totally none up here. Bring me a Pidove, I'll give you my treasure. Well, you know what? Actually, you want to see something? Your Pidove. I actually did catch one. It was kind of already used. <laughs> that was a fun little... Alright, what, what's this guy doing? Can't use that here. Shut up, I didn't mean to press shift. What's this guy doing? Amatrine City has some of the best technology around. We don't have much room for industry up here, but the cold is actually ideal for maintaining computer systems. And that means I can always get max frames per second even on the highest settings. Score! That's not quite true, um, but... Sure. There's got to be something. Something of note. Something cool. I don't know, just something. These kids may be a handful, but if nothing else, I'm glad their spirits have stayed high through this whole ordeal. He doesn't listen when we tell him that Staraptor evolves from an entirely different Pokemon, but what are you gonna do, kids? All right, that was funny, that was funny. We're trying to get a powerful Staraptor. Oh, okay. More explore, more exploratizing down in the, in the openness. That was Sal. I wonder what kind of Pokemon you can catch here in town. I bet it's the same. It's probably no different. Alright. 
Hey, hey, do you want to know about this house? They say it's haunted. A big accident happened there years ago and the girls who are living there died. It's super creepy, but super cool. Suspicious place found. The previous crisis has really taught everyone not to take daily life for granted. That's why everyone is out having so much fun. I kind of wish I could join them, but I'm too old now. I'd look silly out there, right? Oh, about the previous crisis? I mean, it's not over yet. We're still low on food, but everyone has hope because as it turns out, the city has a guardian angel. Who's that? Well, I can't tell you. Why? Okay. Haha, <laughs> I have to hold on to the edge or I'll fall. Eep. Hmm. It's good to see everyone in high spirits again. I can't remember how long it was. The streets of this city were empty or full of vacant faces looking more like zombies than humans. Hunger can do that to a man. But when people in the streets started getting fed by a mysterious person, we started to gain hope back. Now here we are. Ahem, but that's... That's all I will say about that person. They must remain mysterious. Oh, really? I'm so glad we can get back to playing. Everyone's happy again here. It was really sad when all the food disappeared because no one had any energy. But recently, someone has been sneaking around and secretly distributing food to all the kids. It's really cool. What's the matter? Come and catch me. I mean, I, I was just standing next to you. I kind of already completed that. I never get bored of ice skating. My mom says if I get good enough, she'll let me skate inside the mountain too. I love this mountain. Even if we're trapped on it, it's so cool. The peak used to be, the peak used to be to hold gym battles. The old leader retired. I don't know why. I guess he got busy with other things. But he still lives here. His name is Blake Whitaker. If you see him around, would you please get his autograph for me? I'd ask him for it myself, but I'm kind of scared. Oh, that did not go like I thought it would. Hold on. Oh, okay, got it. So what's hiding down here? Oh. <laughs> I definitely thought it was something more than just where... Where I'm supposed to get uh, get the field effects, or what is this? Is it yeah field effects? Thief! I'm an idiot. Field effects is green. I'm a dum dum. Okay, well on to the next. On to the next area. I have a feeling that house is where I'm supposed to be going. Just be able to stand. Just being able to stand here right now is a wonderful thing, and it's all thanks to that girl. Oh my, I shouldn't have said that. Please don't tell anyone I did. Word has that the guardian angel's identity gets out, she won't be able to help anymore. I promised my son I wouldn't tell anyone, so please keep this quiet. Oh, I'll keep it quiet, all right, until I find the girl. Then I'm calling her out. Hey, you helping all those people? You helping those people in, in, in private? Why are you doing that? The air up here may be cold, but it's pure. I'd take this life over reborn city any day, hunger and all. I, I agree. Well, the hunger part, I don't, because I eat, I eat a lot. I eat a lot. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Rations cards. What? Rations cards to me, please. No rations will be given without a card. Hey, shut up. <sighs> Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball's in my pocket. Blasting off again, Team Rocket. I'm buying one, we getting back to 20. Oh my god, I'm buying two. Alright, we're good. Let's go. So, now to the mysterious house. I think this is where- Oh, wait, 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 I missed an item. <laughs> Professional gamer. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I can't call myself professional. All you gotta do is click on every single item you walk past. Oh, Domino! You were checking this place out too, huh? Uh, um, is it just me or d does this place feel kind of weird? I get the feeling that something really bad happened here. Uh, actually, it's something one of the kids from here told me. You know, before I go any further, um, Shelly, I just had a quick, quick, uh, what's the word? Is it corporation? Like, I just wanted to agree with you because here in the left, top left hand corner, you can, uh, very, uh, very plainly see that there is a pulse machine. Anyway, it said that two girls died here. Is that true? Let's go, me! That's right. Domino? That, that machine looks like the one in the mountain, right? But, 
but 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 maybe in that case, maybe it is a really a good it, it really is a good idea to look around here. The house is scary, but I don't mind if you're with me, Domino. So, so um, where do we start? Hey, isn't this here? It's um from the circus. It says this is for the Reborn League challengers. That's you. So, oof. It must have been mailed here after the house was abandoned. It, anyway, books. Let's start at the books. Books are always safe, even when they're scary. Looks like this is a diary. Well, since the house is abandoned, it's probably okay to read, right? Plus, it's not like reading diaries ever really got anyone in trouble. I think they're so funny. <laughs> I like how I turned around. I was like, you know what? No. No, 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 no. The last time someone read a diary, there was an Absol outside. And someone jumped off. That's all I'm saying. Okay, here goes. It looks like this diary belongs to someone named Lumina Sejana. Sejaya. Sejaya. Um, dear diary, now Mama has gotten very sick too. We moved to Amatrine to get away from the polluted city, but the doctor says it may already be too late. I don't want her to leave me like Papa did. Please, please, please don't let her go. Uh, um, next entry. Dear diary, Mama's with Papa now. After all, Evelyn and I are all alone. She's doing her best to, Kate, to, take, blah, 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 to take care of us, and the city is helping as much as they can, but it's still really tough. I don't want to be alone. Dear Diary, I have bad news. Evelyn called the doctor, and see, he says that I've developed the same disease that Mama had. We knew it ran in the family, but nobody thought it would happen so soon. Diary, I'm really scared. The doctor says I still have at least a few years, but I don't want to die that young. I don't want to go. I'm not ready to face Mama and Papa yet. Dear Diary, I feel so guilty. Evelyn has been worried sick about me. She's been staying up all night, always reading and researching to see if there's anything that could be a cure. I'm really glad that she cares about me so much, but I don't want her to push herself too far. What if she gets sick too? Maybe it'd be better if I died sooner. I'd be way less of a burden on that uh, on Eve that way. Side note, never the case. Dear Diary, Evelyn has been working to working herself to the bone. She's building some kind of machine that says she will enhance the... Says will enhance the healing powers of Pokemon. She says that if she can amplify her Pokemon's healing potential, maybe it could cure my disease too. Eve has always been really smart, but if something like that is possible, I'd be so happy. If anyone can do it, she can. I'm so afraid to hope, but I can't help it. Maybe I have a chance after all. Maybe I'll be writing to you for a very long time, Diary. Dear Diary, I'm scared. Today, a man dressed in black showed up at our house. He said that he had heard the machine my sister was making and he wanted to use it for his organization. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Evelyn was going to refuse, but I'm so stupid. I got in the way and he used me as a hostage against her. Now poor Evelyn has to do whatever he says, otherwise he says he'll kill me. Why is it that every time I hope things can be okay, they go horribly wrong? Um, the handwriting changes here. It looks really unsteady. Dear Diary, I'm sorry. This is going to be my last entry. It's really, really bizarre, but there was an accident with Eve's machine. She was applying the finishing touches for a test run and something went wrong. Because of the machine's energy, the magneton she was testing it on accidentally evolved during the test. And then because of the evolution, the machine went haywire. Oh, did you know, Diary, that when magneton evolves, it gets three part it's three parts fused into one? I don't know how it happened, but the machine transferred that energy into everyone who was nearby. And when magneton emerged a magnet zone, I was looking at my own body like it was a mirror or something. And I could hear Eve's voice and that man's voice, and they wouldn't stop. They still don't stop. Eve says the machine's energy accidentally fused the three of our conscien consciousness into one body. Whoa. <gasps> this is Zell! Okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't think I know this person's name just yet. The writer and Eve, Evelyn, their parents died because of sickness. The writer contracted this disease and Evelyn started to develop the pulse machine to amplify her Pokemon's healing powers. And then some convenient storyline, something, something. Fuse the three of them together. 
Whoa. They might die without us, but it seems that we're gonna have to leave. I hate this, but it's stupid. I hate this so much. I got what I wanted. I won't die, and I'll never be alone again. Ever. Uh, um, that's an interesting story. It doesn't really help us find Heather, though. Hello? Hey, hi! We weren't reading any diary? Uh, huh? Uh, huh? This isn't a place for visitors. What are you doing here? Hold on, who is this guy? I, I mean, I mean, I mean we're looking for so, so, someone. Have you seen a young girl a little shorter than me with bright pink hair? Can't say I have. Aren't you a gym leader from the Lapis Ward in Reborn City? Eep! He knows me! Yes, sir, I am. Right. Okay. Um, and, and what's your name? Nanya. Huh? I said it's Nanya. Nanya Bees Ness. Bees Ness. Get out of here already. Um, oh, okay. Why does everyone react like that? Every time I asked someone if they were, if they knew a girl with pink hair, they just awkwardly refused to talk about it and ended the conversation. It's like they're trying to keep her from us. Wait, maybe that's it. One of the kids told me that he had sworn not to tell anyone about a guardian angel who was secretly giving out food. What if Heather is that person? And they just don't want to talk about her because they're all sworn to keep secret. But why would that be? Why would she need to keep something like that secret? I'm going to go find out. Come on, Domino. <clears throat> Hopefully I can stop doing that voice. <sighs> All right, this is definitely a, so. That's that's interesting. So the pulse machine, the pulse machine was made by Zell. Did I know that already? Maybe I knew that already, and I just forgot. Look at how laggy this this part of the game is. Hey, um, I have a different question about what you t told me before. Is that okay? You said before you can't tell me about the guardian angel who is giving you all food. But could you maybe tell us what would happen if you did? Huh? If I told you who the guardian angel is? Y yeah, can you tell us what would happen? Oh, um, well, if I told you who it was and word got out, then we probably wouldn't get any more food. Huh? Huh? This guardian angel person would do that to punish you? No, she would never. I, um, I mean, they would never. I don't get it then. Why? Um, I think it's not the guardian angel we have to worry about. It's the person looking after her. She doesn't want them finding out she's doing it. Oh, okay. Um, can I ask who that person is? You aren't sworn to keep a secret about that, right? I... Um, I guess not. You promise you won't let them find out? Yeah, we promise. Right, Domino? The kid, the man's name is Blake. He's kind of a jerk. He wears a light blue jacket and has a mohawky thing. Domino, Domino, Domino! That was him! Okay, hold on. I gotta get Blake's face in my... Uh... I gotta get Blake's face in my head for the next time he comes up. Oh my god! Edgy! Huh? Kane told you Blake adopted Heather? Then this guardian angel has to be Heather. She's been the one giving food to everyone in Amitrine. Hey, quiet down! Oops, sorry. Um, hey, do you know where we could find her? Nuh-uh. Actually, it's been a few days since anyone's seen her. Maybe she went to go find us more food. I don't know. That's not good. Oh. <clears throat> well, m maybe we should just ask Blake. What? You can't do that. He'll find out. Don't worry. Don't say anything about her be- We won't say anything about her being the guardian angel. She's my friend. I'm just trying to find her. Can you tell us where Blake lives? Um, it's right at the top of the hill. I'll go- I'll go leave it open for you if you want. But then I'm not going to be involved with this anymore. Thank you so much. I'm right behind you. Interesting. So Blake is the blue-haired guy that we just met. Um, oh my gosh, I'm moving so slow. Oh, it's right there. So Blake is the blue-haired guy that we just met. And something something, he's... Wait. If you're looking for Blake Whitaker, you'll find him on the top floor. How'd you know I was looking for Blake Whitaker? That's weird. So anyway, Blake is keeping Heather a secret, and Heather is bringing food for people, and... Sure, I understand everything that's going on. I understand everything that's going on.
This chair looks very weird. Like, I mean, it looks very weird. Wait. What's Blake doing? Blake's sitting? Is that what he's doing? He's playing games. So, so that's why if you could, could, could um, tell us where Heather is, um, I would r really appreciate it. Um, hey, are you even listening? Yeah. Oh, okay. So then, um, could you, uh, please tell me? Sure. Great. Uh, um, you think he's just thinking about the answer, or, or... uh, um, excuse me? Yeah. Could, could you tell us now? Uh-huh. Um. Boom! G got him! Dumb noob. Alright, so what are you doing in my house? I wasn't paying attention. I... Please tell us where Heather is now. Oh, that. The no. Hey, don't just shrug this off. Why did you lie before? You said you didn't know a girl with pink hair, but you definitely know who Heather is. You're supposed to be taking care of her. Oh yeah? Says who? I never said anything about taking care of her. I just said I'd watch over her. Look, I'll tell you what. There's no need to mince words here. We already know what sides reach on, so I'll make you a deal. Give me the ruby ring and I'll tell you where Heather is. The ring? But that's important to Heather. Is it more important than her life? Well, what? Are my terms not good enough? Then I'll throw in something for you too. How about I give you this machine too? It's for waterfall. You are looking for that, weren't you, Domino? Give me the ring and you get this and the girl. Good deal, right? We both win. What'll it be? Okay, so like if I've learned anything so far in Reborn, it's that we've got to keep these... The ruby thing, the amethyst thing, the emerald thing, the sapphire thing. We've got to keep those safe. Right? More than... I'm saying no. Huh? But Domino, what about Heather? We really need to find her. I am... Um, I have a really bad feeling about this, please? This could be Heather's life, please reconsider. Just give him the ring now and we'll figure it out later, okay? No. Oh, you already have the ring? I wasn't informed of that. Change of plans then. I made a mistake. Oh, because they're supposed to think that. No, I'm so dumb. No, no. Ah, oh, because Charlotte was supposed to have the ring. Oh, no. Hey, that was almost too easy. Well, I'm outie. Nice knowing you. Well, wait, but what about Heather? I got the ring. Deal's off. Maybe if you look, look enough, you'll find her. Lol, well, just kidding. What's that supposed to mean? You really want to know? Truth is, I have that brat locked up good. What? what? Yeah, turns out that freaking little snitch was running around giving out food to everyone in the city. So you probably already know this, but I work under Team Meteor. So when the mountain got blocked off, I got some orders from them to hide all the city's food. You heard of fasting, right? Monks don't eat for days to cleanse themselves or some stuff. Well, it's like that. If everyone in the city starves, this world will be cleansed too. Or something like that. Anyway, that brat was getting in the way. No one's gonna starve to death if, death if they're being given food. So I locked her up and fixed the problem. All business. Don't hold it against me. Or do. I actually don't care. That's awful. I can't forgive you. Oh no, she won't forgive me. Whatever shall I do? Look. I don't care about you any more than I care about Team Meteor's ideals. Huh? Then why are you doing this? I'm just using them. I'll do what they... I'll do what they need and guarantee myself a nice and cozy place in the world. Don't have to deal with anyone except a few choice humans. Total freedom for life. Your little friends seem to be interested in the same deal. No rules? She came right under my roof. Makes it all easier to keep her from Meteor, so that's that. Anyway, can't stay and chit chat forever. I've got things to do, people to meet, worlds to end. You know, typical Sunday. See ya, nerds. Okay, hold on, hold on. So I'm thinking, I was thinking about this while I was reading that. I don't think... I don't think that it would have been any different one way or another. Because his text eventually went to, 
oh, you have possession of the ring, and then snatched it. So if I would have just said yes and gave it to him, I think it would have immediately skipped to, oh, you have the ring, I wasn't aware of that. Instead, I'm like, nah, I'm good, nah, I'm good, nah, I'm good. Because Heather can, Heather can fend for herself, I think. If she's actually locked up somewhere, then... <sighs> no, now what do we do? How are we supposed to find Heather if he, if he won't even help us? I'll think of something. There has to be something, somewhere that can lead us to her. You're right, there does have to be something, somewhere. I'll find it. I'll find it here in a second, hold on. Hold on, I'll find it. It's, is it this? No. Hold on. Hold on, it's here somewhere. I'm telling you, this chair is mighty suspicious. Okay, well, what? Um. Do I just, like, try to leave, or what? I, I clicked on everything, multiple, I, I clicked on everything at least twice. Okay, let's think. Okay, obviously, this new guy standing out here with weird colored hair, is that just how you tell people in this game? They have different colored hair? Okay, let's think. There has to be some way to find her, right? Has, she said she was locked up. Where could someone possibly hide a girl in a place like this? I can see another locked door on the screen. Sh Shelly! Oh, it's Blake. Beep, it's Blake. He's still here. I'm not Blake. It's me, Cal. Cal? What? Wait a minute. I haven't seen Cal in 15 years. K Cal? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... Shelly, wait. Y yeah? You don't have to be scared. I'm sorry for what happened before. I let my anger get the better of me and hurt you. No, I was really stu stupid. I should have known that, that you were, um, weren't really like me. I spent my whole life trying to please my brother, so I, um, just assumed it was the same for you, and I would rather not please him. But yes, I've always lived in Blake's shadow. However, that doesn't excuse what I've done. I've made a lot of mistakes. Nothing I do will change the past, and I don't expect your forgiveness. So I'm just going to focus on what I can fix, the future. And if you can stand me, I would greatly appreciate your help. Uh, um, of course, but, um, j just one question. What is it? What is- why is your hair blue? Here, I thought it was a serious question. I was serious, but it's, um, it's- My hair is naturally this color. Or close, I had it dyed back. Huh? Huh? Why? It seemed like the thing to do, that's all. I spent most of my life trying to do everything in response to my brother. Dyed my hair to be different from his, tried to jump both the Remord League and me Team Meteor to one-up him. Wait, you what? Ugh, you didn't know about that. Don't be alarmed. I've left that behind. I was a walking mistake. I was trying to be someone better than my brother when I should have just been trying to be myself. So I'm fixing that. Going back to myself. Having my natural hair color is weird, but it's fine. After all, blue flame burns even hotter. So that means that I need to stop Team Meteor as much as anyone else. So don't be afraid, alright? Uh, alright, if you say so. Thanks. I'm guessing you were just speaking to my brother. Yeah, he locked up Heather and we need to find her. That's not all. I overheard him radio and Team Meteor for backup. They're dispatching an air unit here now. Huh? Oh no! He's trying to give them the ring. Right, I don't think I need to explain why that's not a good thing. What do we do? We still have to find Heather and stop him at the same rate. Right, you're a friend with the Salamence. Didn't you also say she was in the Elite Four or something? Yeah, you remember. How does a girl that long, young get into something like that? Huh? Um, well, I think I remembered that her mom used to be part of it a long time ago. So I guess she proved that she was good enough to take over? We could use her strength. She can fly out and deal with the air unit, leaving us free to chase down Blake. 
We get him take the ring, and then when the air unit comes in late, thanks to Heather, I'll take out Solaris myself. I owe him a thing or two. But we need Heather for that. Yeah, I have a feeling I know where she is. You do? I grew up in this place too, so I know all about it. Check out Blake's apartment. Look very carefully and there should be a hidden passage of some kind. R really? That's crazy! We used it a lot when meeting with Team Meteor, but I bet he's changed his security on it since then, so I'll leave that to you two. In the meantime, I'm going after Blake, I'll need to slow him down. Are you both clear? Investigate Blake room. Investigating Blake's room and find the hidden passage. Let's go, time is short. Woo! That was a story filled episode, and that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up today. So today we made it here, finally, to Amatrine City. I feel like we've been trying to get to Amatrine City for, like, two weeks. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we've certainly been trying to get here for a long time. We did make it here and had a whole lot of talking. If you enjoyed today's episode, you know what to do. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.